Uh, look, his, his men, the mental capacity of Leighton's been always a strength. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a natural part of his game. He's, uh, as far as what he brings to the court every time he gets on the court. So I think, and that, and that definitely shows with the opposition. You know, the opposition know whether Leighton's, you know, hasn't obviously not played as much uh, this year and in the, in the last few years, but what he comes to the court with is a mental mental capacity to engage and actually and fight you, and so and so that actually puts fear regardless in, in an opposition, um, and uh, you know for him to be able to do that day in day out, it's a big credit to him. You know, post thirty, and uh, but he loves the game and he loves it, and when you love competing, and realistically, you know, post thirty you're still pretty young. I mean, I think I think we spend too much time judging people on the number near their name and not just. The passion they have for the game, or you know, the love, you know, the love for the sport they have, and so, um, sure, you, you know, things move in a different way, but they they can still move in the right way for you, as we see with Roger, we see with Tommy Haas as well at the moment. So these are guys that are um, you know, not in their mid twenties, as you'd say, your prime is, but I think now more so, the tennis prime is probably you know 27, 28, because it's it's a tougher game to master now at a young age because of the physicality of the sport.